Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Tries Snakey Bus. Snake a bus. We're gonna get started without further ado. We're gonna use keyboard and mouse without further ado. And this is my when you all tab a lot and then you ask a game to respect your your input choices, you're begging for despair. Okay, it's a game, it's very simple. It is snake. But also, you're a bus. So you get what I mean by that? You, you pick up people, clearly. As you pick up people, your bus grows longer and longer and longer and longer. Right now we're at a bus length of zero. That's okay. We've gotten, oh, bus full head to destination. I will admit this is my first run. As we go longer and longer, Where's our- oh, destination's up, okay. As we get longer and longer, we will have to try not- to, It's the wrong freaking way again, dude. We will have to try not to hit ourselves. You know what I mean by that one? I think you know what I mean by that one. I think I'm gonna stop saying, do you know what I mean by that one? Because I think you know what I mean. Right now, we're doing a pretty awful job. Really seems like this is just a game where you drive a bus. <laughs> We're kind of missing out on the other aspect of it. Okay, I think I've got it. I think we do go up this way. While grooving. To the music. And then I think we jump. Once we get to the top. We can speed up a little bit. Give him a little speed boost, brother. Give him a jump. In many parts of the world, that would be a crash. But in... Snakey bus, we're doing just fine. Is there really not- Okay, we can just take this path up. I am a fool. I apologize. 100 of 100 passengers are about to be delivered to their destination. It's the 99 B line. And we're making a B line for victory. You can, you can do it! Okay, I'm embarrassed with myself. Right now, you're probably going, NL. Why are you playing this? I don't get it. Well, you gotta give it a second, brother, okay? Rome wasn't built in a day. And we're learning, okay? You gotta, the master has failed more times than the beginner has ever tried. Oh, no! Okay. I believe I have crashed into myself, but we're still going. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again. We got some passengers. Yes, we do. We got some passengers. How about you? Next destination appears to be toilet. Welcome back, toilet. I do want to see our, our failure condition, for lack of a better word. Because as of right now, I feel like I did crash into myself. Uh-oh. Um, that can't be good. Maybe there isn't a- No, there must be a failure condition. Bus length is now 36. I'm hoping we're gonna hit real ridiculous hours soon. Bus length is now 52. It's long, boys! Oh, if you get stuck. If you get stuck. That's your failure condition. Okay. Oh my god, they're still coming out of the toilet there. And I'll be doing just fine. Uh, let's go to the right on this one. Where we- Bed is next. Oh lord, brother. Oh lord. Good jump. Ah! Uh, <laughs> um, you're- keep moving. Okay, play again. I know you're like, please not the same, uh... Location with the same song. Oh, no the same location with the same song now. We know what's up now. We've learned How to win how to lose and and that some were born to sing the blues. Oh Look at that Well, we're making much better time that much is certain This was indeed for those of you asking this was indeed a steam Labs uh, recommendation. I've been looking for stuff uh, more in the vein of uh, You know silly games 
played a lot of semi-serious stuff lately. Hoping to get some more some more silly games into the queue. And I like a game that's silly while also being mechanically driven. You know, Roundabout was another game that... Um, it's not my favorite game of all time. You play a limo driver in a car that exclusively locomotes by spinning in that game. Wasn't my favorite game ever made. But I kind of I dug the, the vibe it was going for. You know what I mean? Underwear is next. We've already been underwear. Okay. Good jump. Incredible jump. Now, do the loop again. No! Jackknife, the whole flipping thing, dude. Cannot jump. Cannot jump. Extend the snake! Okay, that was horrible. Put me back on the main menu. <laughs> jump, boost, drift, free cam. Transit, school, requires a 2,000 score? Seattle. Dude, I mean, that is, that is Seattle right there. I mean, that's Paris, France, or at least the Twisted Metal 2 map of the same. So I think I can, uh, I can assume right now, I already know uh, where the game was developed, is my guess. No map, no map required. I have to feel like that's not working as intended. <laughs> Um, I've been to Seattle a few times. I don't remember the streetlights being so, uh, overpowering. I remember the Ferris wheel, though. I remember the Space Needle. I bet this was made for the PAX demo, right? PAX takes place, so PAX Prime at least takes place in Seattle. That's a sm if that's the case, and I'm assuming it is, that's smart marketing. We're going to another Starbucks. Okay, I respect it. Good veer. Good veer. Oh no, we're trapped in the in the weird part of under Seattle. I can't see. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure about that map. <laughs> not not totally confident that that one's okay. Oh, this is the type of bus. This is the level. Museum. Suburb. Ring. Try me out in the suburb. What else we got? Time race. Endless. Classic. Weekly. Oh, it's leaderboards. Okay. Start me up. I'm ready on this one. <laughs> City pop. You're telling me. All right. Take them to the soccer field. In this suburb... To level with you, you're gonna have to be a little bit more specific. This seems like the map they should be starting you on. It's a little, uh... Please get out of my way. A little easier... To understand. I guess you don't have to fill up before you go to every station, right? You can just get reasonably full. Like here, I feel like I'm actually building some momentum. Oh, no. Rear view mirror is not as functional as I would like. I was hoping I could look behind me a little bit more and get a sense of scale on this, you know? The thing with... Snake is way more engaging when you know the size of your train. Or the size of your snake. But I was trying to avoid the appearance of lewdness, I suppose. Can I tell you something? I don't think I'm all there today. Because while I was about to hit myself... Oh... Let's go! <laughs> All I said was, man, I hope that... It, like in my brain, I said, I hope that the other guy gets out of the way. <laughs> the other guy is me, dude. That's the scary thing. It's like when you write code at night and then read it in the morning. You go, what dummy wrote this? The dummy was me, dude. He's done it. I don't know. It is getting a little snaky. You gotta take a very circuitous route through the neighborhood. We only got 15% boost left. Oh no. Thank you, thank you. Dude, I would love a transit system. 
that you didn't even have to get onto the bus. It just kind of sucked you on. Phrasing. That being said, I would I would also like it to be safe. And it doesn't sound safe right now, but that's, you know, that's something we can work the kinks out with later. There you go. I'm, I'm learning boost management. It's an important skill here, or like jump management. This isn't boost mobile. This is the boost mobile. So we required a score of 2000 to unlock some stuff. That in and of itself is just uh, strikes me immediately as being absolutely absurd. I'm getting a little bit of anxiety here. No. Yeah, drive on top of your own train. You mad genius. Doing okay. In fact, it's actually better this way because we don't even have to drive. It's driving for us. <laughs> oh, no. I gotta say, it's a bumping soundtrack. There's no doubt about that. And I am proud of us for at least... Getting a new high score. Definitely getting a little funky. He can do it. Look at that. Okay. I have no idea. We're going to the school. I'm just going to level with you. I don't know where that is. If I were in Seattle, I might have a chance. Unfortunately, my optometrist has recommended I don't return there. Did you see? The threading of the needle. This seems bad. But we're still... No! But a score of 2012. Achievements. You gotta start somewhere. 150. Oh, that's probably based on length. Yo, take me to the main menu. We did a lot better that time. We unlocked the school bus, is that correct? Yeah, we did. Okay. Put me on the... Requires 4,000 score? Paris, oh. Ooh, Paris, Miami! Cave. <laughs> Sure, put me back on dorm. I got high hopes that I'm starting to figure this out. Cold cocoa. Underwear is where it is. Stop one is underwear. So I'm going to level with you. That was not a good start, but we're still moving. I'm going to level with you. This is one of those Northern Lion tries. I'm not a fool, believe it or not. I know many people are watching this and going, what is my man's plan? Northern Lion Tries is not merely a buyer's guide. It is not just uh, games that you may wish to purchase and put a thousand hours into yourself. If you see something you like, I hope you do support the developers. Absolutely. That's why I put those links in the video description below. We're trying to run, you know, uh, oh my, oh my. We're trying to run an environment here that's friendly to both consumers and developers. But on top of that, it's also a showcase. A showcase... Not only for the the normal, but for the weird as well. And I hope you get some entertainment out of the videos, even if they're not necessarily uh, games that are 100% your cup of tea. And I gotta tell you, it was either this or Baby Walking Simulator today. <laughs> Which might show up tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see. It's a very creative idea for a game. Execution? Hey, man, there's a thin line, you know, between, like, crazy idea and crazy idea that turns into a masterpiece. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Pac-Man? Sounds ridiculous. Is it ridiculous? I don't know. Do you consider making one of the most uh, beloved games of all time ridiculous? Ridiculously sweet, maybe. I don't know if uh, Snakey Bus is quite on that level. We can't be here. Let's go. Broke the physics of Unity. 
Go forward, please. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's going to be interesting. We actually found the end of the bus. People are stuck in the wall. I don't think this quite hits Pac-Man levels. Let's be honest. But it is one of the very few games that allows you to drive a school bus around the outer rim of a toilet. Born too late to explore the seas. Too early to explore the stars. Just in time to drive a school bus around the rim of a toilet. In a video game from Steam.com. Steampowered.com, my mistake. Just a little, just a little boost is all you need. Use the boost to get through. This is a much harder map than the suburbs, dude. I've been lied to. I've been misled. Okay. I think this is a take it slow situation. Just zoom around. And remember what the Doobie Brothers said. Oh, whoa, ho. Listen to the music. Yo, this is a very Washingtonian game. Isn't that the University of Washington uh, logo there? Oh, we dropped off the survivors. I think they're meant to be called passengers. But for the time being, they're survivors. No! <laughs> Get me off of the dorms, dude. Driving around in circles is making my stomach queasy. Hot Rainbow Road. No, not Rainbow Road is what I just unlocked. Okay. I was like, Hot Rainbow Road? What have I been missing? Okay, start me. I will say... Feels like more of a... Uh, more of a gimmick, I suppose. Like, I think this game's got some... It's got some arcadey charm. But at the same time, there's no doubt about the fact that it's also a little... It's a little gimmicky. I don't even mean that in, in an insulting way. I hope it doesn't come across like that, but... In combining... A, a driving game... Plus Snake... I can't help but feel that... Really, I just want to play Snake. No, with, without any offense, man, I'm like, dude. Wonder how a Snake series would do on YouTube. I'm not actually gonna do it. I have to be careful because if I suggest it, it will come to pass. But we may change our tune because I anticipate this will be a high score attempt for us here. What's our, we had, we had a bus length of like 280 or something like that in the suburbs. I definitely think this is a plausible beating of that. So it just, the important thing I have to remember, and I have not been paying attention to this at all, is, uh, you gotta have an algorithm. In Snake, you have an algorithm. You know, get the pedals, leave yourself space. In this, I haven't been using my algorithm properly. So the algorithm should be, I think for now, as you pass through the drop-off point, leave yourself as much space as possible, so get as close to, like, the previous pass as you can. And then, like, I think the world's your oyster, dude. Um... My algorithm... has been compromised. <laughs> There's a lot more space on this map, though. It does beg the question, doesn't it? Why are so many people taking the bus inside of the museum? I've never been to a museum large enough to require its own bus. A bus to the museum, yes. A bus inside of the museum? That seems a little crazy. Usually people just go for like a motorized walkway, conveyor belt, escalator, people mover, etc, etc. You know what this game needs is a manifold garden map. Where if you fall down through uh, 
A section of the map, you just keep falling forever through non-Euclidean geometry. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do one more loop around the the parapets here. Cause I think we got a genuine chance at a I'm not saying a world record, because I did see that on the score list there were people with a score of like literally nine thousand. How? But we're gonna try. I hope that's nine thousand score, not nine thousand length, but now that I think about it, I'm like, dude, that might be the same freaking thing for all I know. See, this is a good algorithm. It might surprise you to find out. Like, I, you know I'm good at racing games based on my Forza Eliminator performances. I think we got to make a move here. It might surprise you to find out. Pretty good snake. I'm not saying I'm one of the world's best. But I did own one of those old Nokia phones. Where it was the only game on the whole device. Oh, we're sucking them up. Thread the needle. Look at that. Okay, don't look at that. Not so much looking at that, please. I will also say... I hate to bring it up. But I, I feel... As somebody who suffers from motion sickness... I feel like I'm a kindred spirit to other people who suffer from motion sickness. So I have to, you know, bring this to your attention at times. The game is making me a little queasy. And yet still I'm disappointed that it stopped. <laughs> Something about the camera. So we probably should have switched it up a little bit, but... First person I don't think was necessarily going to be better. Anyway, that's Snakey Bus. An interesting little diversion uh, from earlier this year or maybe last year. With a lot of Pacific Northwest uh, love gone into it, obviously. For now, thanks for watching. You can check it out for yourself on Steam if you're interested by clicking the link in the video description below. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, subscribe. Click the like button. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!